Hi, I'm Jesse Jankowski from the State Water Resources Control Board's Division of Water Rights. Today I'm going to show you how to check if your water right or claim is currently curtailed using the Delta Watershed Curtailment Status List. You can access this list on the State Water Board's Delta Drought website at waterboards.ca.gov slash drought slash delta. As noted here, the curtailment status list serves as a water right curtailment order authorized by the Enhanced Water Use Reporting and Curtailment Regulations for the Delta Watershed that became effective on August 19, 2021. Please read this text carefully as it explains how to use the curtailment status list and the basis on which these curtailments are made, the Delta Water Unavailability Methodology. This text gives a general description of watersheds where curtailments are in effect for the remainder of August. Changes to water supply and demand are currently projected in September, including increased supplies in the Sacramento River Valley, so curtailments are different between months. The curtailment status applies for all days of the given month and is evaluated weekly for potential changes. Here we have the interactive list showing the curtailment status of each water right and claim in the Delta watershed, which includes the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers and their tributaries. Note the date that this list was last updated and this important disclaimer up top. The list will be updated weekly and more frequently if there are changes in precipitation and runoff. You can scroll through the entire list to view each water right ID, its primary owner, associated priority date based on state water board records, and its current and projected curtailment status in August and September 2021. Projections will be provided for subsequent months as they approach and more reliable data is available. You can also use the buttons at the top of each column to sort them alphabetically. A curtailment status in red means that the water right or claim is curtailed during the specified time period and water may not be diverted under it unless an exception applies. Please refer to the emergency regulation text, which is linked under the emergency curtailment and reporting regulation heading on this website to see if you may qualify for an exception. A status in green means the identified water right or claim is not curtailed during the specified time period. This is not an authorization to divert if water right terms or other conditions apply which affect your ability to divert. You can also use the search boxes at the top of the list to search for specific water rights based on several criteria. Let's try searching by water right ID. You can find your water right ID in the first paragraph of the initial order imposing water right curtailment and reporting requirements, which was physically mailed to you on August 20th. Type that in this top left search box and hit enter. You can see this water right, which I added just for testing purposes, has a priority date of 2012 and is under curtailment in both August and September. To clear your search results, delete them from the field and hit enter. It may take just a second for the list to update. If you own multiple water rights or can't find your water right ID, you can also search by owner. Type that in the top right search box and hit enter. The second water right claim, also just as an example, has a priority date of 1884 and is currently only under curtailment in August. If you believe there is a mistake in your water right claim type or priority date, please see the Reference Guide on Emergency Regulation and Curtailment Orders, which is linked under the Reference Guides heading on this website, for instructions to submit a proposed correction via email. Now let's take a look at a group of water rights based on their type. To do that, click the bottom left dropdown, uncheck the All box, 
and select one or more water right types you'd like to view. The list will update automatically, and you can click to the side to close the dropdown. You can see that diverters who claim both riparian and pre-1914 appropriative water rights under the same statement of diversion and use are treated solely as riparian claimants and are not under curtailment unless there is zero supply available from their water source. Their claimed priority dates are still shown here for reference though. You can view water right claims in a specific subwatershed by selecting it from the bottom middle drop down menu. Again, uncheck the all box and make your selections. Here we're looking at the curtailment status of all water rights and claims to Pewter Creek and its tributaries. All but the most senior claims are under curtailment in September. Lastly, we can use the drop down in the bottom right to look specifically at water rights and claims that divert within the legal delta, as defined by Water Code Section 12220. The Delta Watershed Curtailment Status List will be updated weekly and more frequently if there are changes in precipitation and runoff. Subscribers to the Delta Drought email list will be notified anytime that changes are made to the curtailment status list. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Delta Drought email list here to receive these updates. After subscribing, you will be sent a message and must confirm your email address in order to be added to the list. This website also gives our contact information if you have additional questions or need assistance. Thank you for watching the Delta Watershed Curtailment Status List tutorial.